A decade ago, our foundation challenged the world to reinvent the toilet, generating hundreds of new innovations in how to process human waste. Shannon Yi is leading this global effort to take all these ideas and bring them together into a low-cost toilet for billions of people around the world. There are about 4.5 billion people who are in need of improved sanitation. The gold standard is sewered sanitation. It has a lot of infrastructure embedded behind it. What we're trying to do is do that entire process in the footprint of something close to your washing machine. There are a lot of parallels between an espresso maker and a reinvented toilet. They both are high temperature, high pressure devices. They both need to be operated with just the press of a button. And they both are appliances in your home. With a reinvented toilet, when you move, you may take your toilet with you and just plug it in at your next home. Okay. Underneath or above? That's pretty cool. Let's go down about an inch. The reinvented toilet we have has kind of two parts a front end, which is just like a regular toilet, and a back end where all the processing happens. You do your business in the front end, urinate, defecate, and then we actually separate those streams after you flush it. So the feces goes one way, the urine and flush water goes another way. The urine and flush water go into a holding tank and then process through a series of filters until it's pure and clean water. And then we have two ways of treating feces. The first way, we first pasteurize the feces to kill all the pathogens, and then we use a filter press to press the feces into sanitized, pathogen-free solid cakes that don't smell. The other way, we take the feces and elevate them in pressure and temperature to a point where they can actually combust underwater. The end product there is just ash suspended in water. The ash and the feces cakes are dried in a drying conveyor belt, and then they fall into a disposal bucket. You can just simply dispose of that in the compost. If we can treat waste on site, we'll drastically prevent the spread of disease. If we do that, people live a healthier, more productive life, and it really helps lift nations out of poverty. That's our current inventory. So yeah, let's pull a couple of those turds out. So we've got a Bristol 4. Okay. And a soft. Got a Bristol 2. That's a little more compact and dry. Our program is working with 70 researchers around the world. I'm very deeply honored to be able to work with some really incredible engineers and scientists. It's also incredibly rewarding working on solutions to problems that can touch so many people's lives. Thomas Crapper popularized the flush toilet, and that's why we now have the phrase, uh, I'm gonna go take a crap. It has been often said that my name may get associated with taking a ye when you need to go take a pee. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I think it's hilarious. <laughs>